Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review of tonight's movie, The Manchurian. I think that's the way you say it. I had no idea, just happened to come across it. It's out on Amazon for early access. Uh, two hours and nine minutes long. Uh, the names are Rick Jodie Foster and Shailene Woodley are in it. So that's kind of interesting, but it's about somebody who is uh, wrongly um, imprisoned by the U.S. government in Guantanamo Bay. Um, so, I don't know. And it's funny when you when you first oh Benedict Cumberbatch is in it. Wow, there's a lot more people when you scroll through. But it's funny when you first look at IMDb, it's a bunch a bunch of stuff without pictures, so nobody's in it that we know. But I don't know. Anyway, 7.3 on IMDb, over 5,366 people have rated it so far. So it's a long one. It's meant for the weekend. I'm going at it during the week. See what it's about. Give you a better idea, and then ultimately let you know what I think. Stick around. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching The Manchurian. We're at the 1 hour, 16 minute, 49 second mark. So, still a lot to go here. But, um, you know, it's, it's what, kind of, I guess what they said. So, our uh, main character, who is played by, let me get his name, Tariq, Tar Tahar Rahim. Um, so, he is, um, seems like from Afghanistan. I'm not sure of his actual background. Germany. Um, Afghanistan, France, wherever, but he's accused of being the head recruiter for 9-11, or one of the recruiters for 9-11, and uh, having a relationship with Osama bin Laden, right? So he's being detained in Guantanamo Bay, is the whole thing. Now, he is from the Looming Towers. If you ever saw that limited series, um, if not, check it out. That was pretty interesting. But that's where he's from, at least as far as I know. He had a whole lot of other things, too, but nothing that I saw. But I like him. I think he's kind of charismatic, I would say. I don't know. Anyway, so um, he, of course, is stating that he is innocent. Um, in come Jodie Foster and Shirlene Woodley. They're part of, like, a legal team that are trying to get, saying that he's being held um, without cause essentially so they're trying to prove it. they're not necessarily saying he's innocent of what he's doing but he's being held illegally is what their whole purpose is and they, they make sure of that um, and of course because because I mean his the impact of 9-11 um, the lawyers could be really looked at poorly um, so it's showing all of that there how they continue to research and try and defend him he, it's a lot of look backs on what's going on with him, where does he come from, his interrogations, what's, what has happened to him since he's been there, all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's you know, it's very detailed. Oh, and um, Benedict Cumberbatch um, is the prosecuting lawyer, so he's trying to um, get him for the death penalty for doing all this. So he's kind of against... Jodie Foster and I don't know if they're like against each other because whatever it doesn't matter I mean ultimately they are in a sense so that's really what it's all about very interesting um, you know and he's held in in um, prison um, you know with other um, people of the same nationality same religion that kind of thing so he's trying to talk to them and, and figure out what's going on one interesting, I th one interesting piece that I saw. So they they always pray, right? You know, um, and I I forget where they, maybe to the west. I sorry for not knowing, but I could have looked it up. But I found it interesting. At first, I thought he was trying to figure out which direction he was, because his like uh, when he's outside, it's all covered with green, so he can't see really. Um, but then you see either he did it or they did it for him. They gave him an arrow, so they know he knows which way to pray. Um, they don't really, he doesn't really have tapes, so I'm assuming that is something they do for them um, so that they can go ahead and pray. I just found that interesting. I don't know why I shared it with you, but uh, really that's what the whole thing is about. So in your mind, you're wondering, is he innocent, you know, um, or is he not? Was he really part of this, and should he get out or should he not get out um, is what's going on. And of course, um, Jodie Foster and uh, Woodley are you know, running into obstacles as they try and find evidence and stuff like that. So, um, there you go. That's it. That's all I got. Not much else that I can think of right now, but if anything comes to mind, I'll let you know. I'll get back to it here. We got just about, we got 53 minutes left. So, we'll see what happens. 
I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of the um, Mediterranean, Mediterranean or whatever. Um, and I have to say, so here's here's a piece of it. I'll tell you, I didn't know. Like I, with all my movies, I never know the the true story. There's some, I guess, I would say that I know, um, but I didn't know about this. Maybe I've heard of it when it was actually happening back in the day, um, or when it first happened. Because this is best on. This is based on a. Uh, New York best-selling book that uh, this guy wrote, uh, uh, the Guantanamo Diaries. So if you already know this, you might view this movie a little bit different. For me, not knowing what's going to happen, you know, I think the movie does a great job of pulling you in and, um, you know, making you think about this person. Is he really involved or is he not? You know, you've seen a lot of different kinds of movies like that where you're never really sure, is this guy good or bad? And and who's on the right and who's on the wrong and that kind of stuff. So that's what I enjoyed about the film. I thought our main actor was really good. Um, before I forget, because I forgot last time, Zachary Levy is in this. I noticed him. I was like, huh, I tried to look for him in IMDb. Couldn't find him at first, but then I was able to locate him. He is actually in this film. Small role, but, I mean, good. So there's a lot of good actors and actresses in this. Um, so, I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was great. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure how I would have felt about the film if I would have known everything. Because, you know, you already know what's kind of going to happen. Um, but, two things that I always look for at the end of every movie based on a true story is, one, I like to see the post-credits, um, you know, comments about what has happened since the film. It's riddled with it. Thumbs up. I like to see pictures of the real people. I sometimes like to see them side by side, but that's okay. The real people who were um, this is portrayed on. Um, this is riddled with it. There's even uh, I have a pause right now because it seems like there's an interview with um, the actual um, main guy um, who was detained um, in Guantanamo Bay. So. Um, so all that's there. So I really, I you know, I, I really like the story. I like the way they pull you in and make you think about it. And then I like how they, they give you as much information as possible. Um, and nobody really, besides our main actor, um, which now his name is escaping me, and I'll get it real quick. Um, he was great. Uh, Tahar Rahim, you know. I don't think, you know, I mean, you got Jodie Foster in this. You got... Um, Benedict Cumberbatch, you got uh, Charlene Woodley, Zachary Levy. You know, there's, you know, there's probably somebody I'm forgetting too. But nobody uh, overshadows anybody. I'll say. I was gonna say nobody really steals a show, but they all did such a good job, and they kept the role, you know, fair. I mean, while he takes the entire cake, right? Our, our Raheem is the star of the entire movie. Great. Um, but the other ones play very good supporting roles, and I think they, you know, they do a great job. Benedict Cumberbatch does a great job with a southern accent throughout the movie. Um, but otherwise, I, I, so there you go. That's what I got for you. Good acting, I felt. Um, interesting story, well to told, and gives you everything you need even after the film's over. So there you go. Hopefully this was helpful. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Drop me some comments if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel, tell all your friends, and continue to come back to Kimmel's Irish Pub.